This is Wes Green, a contractor from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He's here to face Sharon Golf, a loan secretary from Angleton, Texas, and Union Standard from Norman, Oklahoma. The object to win a major recording contract, an appearance on the Grand Ole Opry, and a lot more on You Can Be a Star. the audience applauding today. Lord of mercy, just look at you. And look at you at home. It's awfully nice to be able to come into your home and visit with you. We want you to settle back, relax, and allow us to entertain you for a while because we've got three excited youngsters here already. Well, actually, it's more than three, but it's three groups, I guess I could say. Let's say hello to our celebrities right now. The gentleman sitting on the end is the pride and joy of EMI America. This is recording artist, Mr. Dan Seals. I guess I could say writer along with that, couldn't I? And the gentleman sitting in the middle is the national promotional director for Capital EMI America, Mr. Paul Lovelace. All right. All right. Thank you. And this is Warner Brothers' pride and joy, sitting right here on the end, a young man that has written many, many great songs, recorded many. Say hello to Mr. Merle Kickor. Thank you. Thank you. These are my people, I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you what, how many black hats have y'all got, or are you just wearing the same one all the time, huh? Same one same over, one. over same one. again. That's <laughs> supposed to have the fit. I, I don't, I've been here every day this week. Wait, just a moment. You know, it makes me feel kind of bad because no, I don't have right. a hat, too. I feel I See, need don't... a phone book to sit on and a hat to wear here. Yeah. <laughs> we have two black hats, please. Work. All right. We've got <laughs> one more fellow we want you to say hello to. This is our co-host. Here's Mr. Jerry House. <laughs> hey, what is this, the Richard Simmons Show? Hi, everybody. Oh, wrong show, I'm sorry. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. And by golly, working with the old cowboy himself, Jim Ed Brown, just think of me as like, uh, well, like, Sidekick City, that's what I do here, like Merle Kilgore is to Hank Williams Jr., why like Gabby Hayes is to the Royal Rogers legend. Think of me as the Barney Rubble to Fred Flintstone. Think of, we'll be right back in just a minute. Right here, I'm the Leo Tolstoy to, uh, what was his name? We'll be right here, don't go away. Now, if you want to be a star, this is the way we do it. Each day, we have three contestants from all over the country, and they perform right here on this stage. We have our three celebrities that can give each contestant up to 500 points each for a total of 1,500 points. We got our five audience judges. They can give each contestant up to 300 points each for a total of 1,500. At the end of four days, we bring our daily winners back for our weekly championship. At the end of 12 weeks, we bring all of our weekly champions back for our grand championship week. That winner walks away with his very own major recording contract, first release on Capitol Records, an opportunity to perform on the world-famous Grand Ole Opry, and a chance to travel around the country and perform with some of the greatest names in country music, and a chance to be a star. Who knows which one it's going to be? We don't know, but we've got three contestants that we want you to help make a decision on. From Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, here is our first contestant today. Here is Wes Green. Fool for your loving. I know that you use me, but it feels too good to think about leaving in my own way. I'm using you to question this. Who's using who? Who's using who? Me or you? Why 
What does it matter? Who's using who? Caught up in a feeling It's your loving I need I keep coming back Oh, when you use me What you don't know Is that I'm using you Question is Who's using who? Who's using who? Me or you? What does it matter? What does it matter? Who's using who? Who's using who? Me or you? What does it matter? Who's using who? What does it matter? Who's using who? Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I got a lot of friends out there, and I know that you do, too. We're not even going to go in and say how many. You're a contractor, though. Yeah, a concrete contractor. Concrete? Cement cowboy, I guess. Cement <laughs> <laughs> cowboy. What do, you, what, do you, what do you get into, mostly, um, with, your, with concrete? We build a lot of foundations for new homes, fix foundation failure, et cetera. Just, just about do it all. Well, that's great. Tell you what, you can come here and make a pretty good living because there's a lot of work going on right here. But you can make a better living singing and a whole lot easier, I got a feeling. Let's see what our celebrities think. Merle, what do you think, sir? Hey, I like Wes's style. Kind of got a little frizzell. Who's using who? I like that. Did you write the song, Wes? Yes, me and my wife did. Hey, that's a good, good commercial country song. I give Wes 435. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Merle. Paul, what do you think? I agree. I think it's a great song. I, uh, it sounds like one that you could hear on the radio, and that's what we, we try to listen for, and makes my job a lot easier. I'm going to give you a 435. Yes, sir. Thank you. Boy, they're thick, stick, sticking together over there, aren't they? Let's see what Dan can say. I love that baritone voice. I, I think I could hear a whole tape of this sometime. <laughs> if you got a tape, I'd love to have one. Okay, I gave him a 445. <laughs> Thank you. One thousand three hundred and fifteen points, and right now that starts it all off. Relax and enjoy yourself for a minute. Let's go out to the stairway, and here's Jerry. Thank you, Jim Ed. You know, uh, I don't know whether you've been traveling around this great country of ours, but probably in your neighborhood there is a store called, uh, I think it's called the Great Big Giant Guys Clothing Store, and we're very pleased. Would you like to meet a celebrity right here in the in the audience? We have Master Taylor from the Great Big Giant Guys uh, Tailoring Store here with us today. And it's the fabulous tailor, Jim of Hermitage. Jim, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. I'm, and, uh, job, I'm doing just great. I know you've been working, uh, making clothes now. For great big guys. Great for big a, guys. Yeah. And uh, how do you, I mean, what's your experience for learning how to tailor, you know? For tailor for, yeah. for big guys? Yeah. Well, I had years and years of experience of putting insulation around hot water tanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Okay, maybe you can do something for Merle uh, Kilgore a little later. Huh? Sure, we can, we can fix him up. All right, we'll fabulous. Take him down to Omar the tent maker. All right, great. Back to you, <laughs> back to you Jim. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. He's not quite that big. I don't... I, lost 44 pounds. I, I know you've lost some. Tell me what has been... You've had, you've had a lot of things happen to you in this business. What's I mean, been a one lot. Of your, what, have, what has been your biggest thrill? I guess the biggest thrill of all was singing in Carnegie Hall on a Johnny Cash concert. That would have been great. And uh, the biggest thrill was I sung the song Johnny Reb that I wrote, you know, and a guy let out a rebel yell, yeah, yeah, and his uppers came out <laughs> and fell down about eight balconies down and hit a friend of ours that was along with the show, watching the show, and the head knocked her out. Are you serious? No, and he came down looking that, for the teeth. That actually happened? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, did she feel like she had been bit? 
She <laughs> said that song left me with a jolt. <laughs> I bet it did. Paul, what about you? Have you had a, what's been your biggest thrill? I think in the record business, um, every time a song goes number one, it's a big thrill that for, a for me on that. But I think in working with an artist, I had an opportunity one time to work with Roy Rogers for a whole day. Oh. We put out a song called Hoppy Jean and Me. Yeah. And I had a chance to ride around and do interviews and go to radio stations and all of that stuff in Los Angeles with, with Roy. And it was such a great thing to see, uh, to walk around with a person that everybody knows who he is. Nobody <laughs> was saying, who is that? Everybody knows who he is. Everybody. And that was probably one of my biggest Well, thrills. that was a bit, that, I'm sure that would have been for me too. G, uh, Dan, we'll have to get to you later because we've got right now another contestant from Anton, Texas. Here is Sharon Goff. You tell me that you're through with her. She's hurt you much too. When all the times you've loved her, she was doing you wrong. So long. At times when we And pull her neck Although it hurts me deeply You're not the one to blame All the way down, right out of Houston, Texas. Is that right? That's right. And you're a loan officer in one of the banks there, right? Right. Would you let me borrow some money if I come down? Absolutely. Well, if I had the chance to get down there, the time I got there, I'd be broke. I oh. can. <laughs> you can rest assured. Merle, what do you think about this young lady? Well, I'll tell you, I was quite enchanted with that powerful voice she's Thank got, you. and uh, got the good looks. So uh, I think everything's in her favor. I give Sharon a four, three, zero. Oh. Thank you, Merle. Paul, what do you think, sir? Oh, I love this song a lot. Did you write that song? Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. It's, it's a great song. I love the way you delivered it. Thank I love you. everything about it. I gave you a 440. You. He likes you. Wonder if Dan does. I like the song, and she put heart in every line, and I, I gave her a 425. For a total of... 1,295 points. You're in second place right now, hon, but that can all change because we've still got our audience judges down here. Their votes haven't been tabulated and added to yet, but they will be right after you watch these words. We'll be back with our third contestant.
guests and staff of You Can Be a Star stay at the beautiful new Sheraton Music City Hotel just two miles from the airport and minutes from Opryland. Make your reservations today. For reservations, call 1-800-325-3535. Catering for You Can Be a Star provided by Pocoke's Family Restaurants, Chicken, Seafood, and so forth. With quality homestyle cooking, fast, friendly service, and an affordable price. Pocoke's, it's for the good food. It's a good feeling. A good feeling. Dan... Everybody wants to know, you know, if they're interested in getting into this business, anytime they get an opportunity to ask them, somebody in it, how they get it, what do you tell them? How do you answer that? I tell them that there's no real secrets. It's you put your voice down on a tape with either a guitar or a band, and you take it to the, the record execs here in Nashville or Los Angeles or wherever and try to knock their socks off. And if they like you, they really like you, they sign you, they think they can sell records, they'll sign a contract with you real quick. Yes, they will. You said you had the, you had the answer? the ultimate secret of uh -huh. getting into show business, friends. Yes, sir. Hang around somebody famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's I guess. That, well, <laughs> it has worked for a few, had it? From Norman, Oklahoma comes Union Standard. Mississippi going dry Don't leave me, can't you see that I love you I don't understand why you say bye My love for you is never going in, girl That be like a Mississippi going dry Okay, to my left here on the guitar, we have Wayne and Mark on the mandolin, and right behind us, we have Randy on the bass. All right, you wrote the song, right? I did, sir. I was just about to say smile, you're on candid camera, but you are smiling for us now, aren't you? Smiling like a beaver. Well, you got it over with, and now you can. Let's see what our celebrities think. Merle, what do you think of this group? Jim, they're the hardest. Unless you are a bluegrass picker, it's hard to be a judge because that's like uh, jazz, you know? And uh, it is a refined art, and uh, I think these boys have refined it real well. I give the boys a 440. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Merle. Paul, what do you think? Oh, I like everything about them. I think their harmonies are just, just great. I like uh, the originality of the song. I like everything about these guys, and I'm going 450. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Really good. Yeah. Dad, what do you think? I love their harmonies and their musicianship is impeccable. I wish I could play an axe like that. Ah. I gave them a four fifty. Yeah. yeah, thank you. For a total of 1,340 points and congratulations, boys, you're in the lead right now. And we've also got somebody we want you to say hello to once again at the stairway. He's got a friend, here's Jerry House. Ding, 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 ding. Boy, I love bluegrass music, don't you? Yes, very much. And what's your name, dear? Boots Redland. Oh, that's right. How are you, Boots? How have you been? Fine. 
right. And you're going to sing? Yes, I am. I'd hope for a title there, but that's okay. What is it? Cowboy Sweetheart. Sing right out there. Want to be a cowboy sweetheart? Want to learn to rope and to ride? Want to ride the range and the western plains that west of the great divide? Want to hear the coyote howl as the sun sinks low? Union Standard right now is in the lead with 1,340 points. Wes Green has 1,315. Sharon Goff has 1,295. And that's the way our celebrities have seen our contestants for the day. Would you like to tell everybody how they can get in touch with us? But ding, 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 ding. Yes, I would. I okay. certainly. A bluegrass music just got to me. You yeah, never, really? were, never were in a bluegrass band? No, I never was. I always wanted to be because I love bluegrass. Of course, I like all kinds of music. Well, I grew up in Kentucky, and I can remember Mom and Dad and all my uncles and aunts out there in the front porch picking and grinning, you know. What did you do? Well, they didn't have any instruments. It was an awful sight, but, oh. you know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I'm sorry. Wes Green had 1,315 points from our celebrities. And from the audience judges, Wes received 1,295 points for a total of 2,610. Sharon Goff had 1,295 points from our celebrities. And Sharon received from the audience 1,265 points for a total of 2,560. Union Standard had 1,340 points from our celebrities. And from the audience judges, Union Standard received 1,355 points for a total of 2,695. And our winner, Union Standard. And let me say congratulations to you, bud. That's great. I tell you what, you and the boys have worked awfully hard, and it's paying off right now, right? I'll tell you what, we sure are glad to be here. Well, it, we're glad that you could make it, too. You know, I know that you're going to be here tomorrow for our weekly championship, right? But you can bet on it. All right, I'm betting on it. And I'm betting on you, too. Join us tomorrow for our weekly championship. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.